Good morning, good morning. It's Anne here from Domesplicity. How are you today? Just popping in for my Facebook Live today to talk to you about um, the juggle in your life and how to manage it. J is for juggle, our theme for the fortnight. So I'll just give everybody a couple minutes just to get on. I was, um, I did think that we had some juggling balls and I was going to start my live by showing you how I could juggle with just two balls. I can't do it with three, but I couldn't find them. But I'm running a bit behind today. I slept in, so my hair's all still wet from the shower. And um, I've done my regular morning routine, but I haven't folded the laundry yet, so I've still got to do that. I hope you had a lovely Mother's Day yesterday, wherever you are in the world, and you, um, if you celebrated it yesterday. So I hope you had a lovely day. I did. I had... Um, the kids here and my husband here and um, my husband was on call for work so he couldn't go out anywhere too far so we decided to get takeaway fish and chips and bring it home here uh, and eat, eat it here and we watched a movie and um, even though the subject matter wasn't um, wasn't the best but it was quite um, entertaining it was um, Black Klansman I don't know if you've heard of it but it was um, quite a good movie and a good message so um, the kids enjoyed that as well so I can't wait to begin to um, to tell you about um, how you can juggle your life and manage your life your day-to-day -day life a little bit better it's what we're doing in the group all of this year how to organize your life and uh, when I was thinking of a theme for Jay I was going to uh, originally talk about joy and then um, the idea of juggle came up because I know how much of a of a juggle life is um, especially when you've got kids and um, you know it's it's just a, a term that we hear so much of these days you know the juggle is real the struggle is real we're all so busy and you know we feel like our the wheels are falling off um, our lives and it's just so hard to get um to stay on top of things and um, when there's a crisis you know everything just falls apart and um, you know I just want to help you um, try and cope with that a little bit better uh, because I think that I've kind of mastered it I, I haven't ever got rid of the <clears throat> rid of the struggle or the juggle it's always going to be there but I just have managed or learned to manage it manage it a bit better and it just helps um, with my day-to-day -day life. Hi, Sandra. How are you today? I hope you had a nice day yesterday. <clears throat> so let's get started. Um, if you don't know me by now, my name's um, Anne Murphy from Domesplicity. And Domesplicity is um, a place to call home. All about homemaking, organising, making do, education. So um, throughout this year, I'm focusing on teaching people how to organise your life. Um, through a different fortnightly theme based on a letter in the alphabet. We're up to um, the letter J and J is all about the juggle. Um, the juggle is real and how to juggle your life or manage your life a little bit better day to day. So um, I've got some good news and some bad news. The bad news is it's in our DNA. As women, we're naturally wired to take on everything we want to um, make sure everyone's happy we want to make sure that everything's running smoothly we want to um, we try to take on everyone else's problems we want um, every everyone to be happy it's it's in our it's in our DNA it's in our nature to try and do that but the good news is that we have the power to control how we feel about that and how we can cope um, and get through those situations that we have and this is where I think the problem lies when people say that they're so busy and that they, they're really finding it hard to juggle everything work, family, life, trying to find me time um, that power, you have that power to manage that the circumstances, the problems, they're always going to be there especially when you've got kids life can be so unpredictable especially when they're young and I have got a mountain of examples of how you can um, how what's happened to me over the years and just a couple just um, to name a few oh, and just when you think <clears throat> oh you know thank goodness I've got through the the toilet training stage thank 
God, I've got through the the breastfeeding stage or the sleeping through the night stage. There's always something else. I'm up to years 14 and 12 with my children and there's still always something that um, can go wrong. But I've learnt to manage that over the years and manage how I feel about these situations that pop up. So I hope that I can um, help you understand a little bit better how to get through it as well. One, um, like, mind you, I was in a, a, a terrible marriage. I had, me time was something that I'd never even heard of. I didn't know what that was. I had a terrible husband who um, wouldn't even make me a cup of coffee. I didn't expect him to look after the children, but I just thought, you know, he might have been able to make me a coffee or um, watch one child while I bathed the other, but no, he would never do anything like that. But an opportunity came up uh, when my daughter was about, oh, probably... 15 months old um, one lady I knew invited me to a Tupperware party one Saturday afternoon and I said uh, you know I had to time it right around my daughter's nap afternoon nap because then my husband wouldn't have had to do anything um, to manage it so I made sure that she was um, in her cot ready for a nap and I thought I'd just check on her I had about 10 minutes to get to this lady's place and there was my daughter Nappy, dirty nappy off, smeared all over the cot, all over the walls, all over herself. And, you know, that feeling that you get, you just feel like crumbling in a heap and you just go, you know, what did I do in my life to deserve this? You know, here I was ready for, the, for an outing for myself for the first time. Just take a deep breath and you manage it. I cleaned her up, gave her a bath, cleaned all the cot and the walls. Um, by now... You know, 45 minutes had passed and the lady messaged me or rang me and asked if I was still coming. And she, I said, oh, no, I won't bother. She said, no, still come. You know, I was probably just about in tears at this stage and my daughter had gone off to sleep. So um, I went, you know, the party had finished. Um, I did cry when I got there, but I sat and had a cuppa and a chat and everyone assured me that it all happens to them and I got through it so um, that was just one um, you know back in November 2017 I thought the children were old enough to um, help with getting ready in the mornings um, and after school so I took on a job just locally and it was the hours were 8 30 till 5 p.m and um, you know I thought it was a long day even though it was local but at the time my children were doing cheerleading and dance and I finished at five. Um, first child started um, her class at 5.15. So I'd pop in, car would car engine wouldn't even be turned off. Get her in the car, drop her down, come home, start dinner. 5.45 was the, my son's class. Drop him down, um, pick her up, and then back at 6.30 to um, pick, pick my son up. So it was like a revolving door. Um, you know, I don't need to tell other people who have after school um, activities that, um, that you know, how, how um, you know, how hard it is to try and get dinner on and, you know, do all your chores, especially after you've worked um, a full day. I just need a little sip of coffee. You know, it, it happens to all of us. Um, what, something else... Um, Oh, um, even growing up, you know, I'm lucky in a way. My father was very laid back, but my mum was a natural, natural warrior. Um, not a warrior as in a brave, you know, warrior. She just always worried about everything. And, you know, I probably saw it for, firsthand from her how, you know, things would turn into a big drama. And I remember as a grown up, you know, I did lots of, um, a grown up and adult, um, I did lots of events. I remember catering for my mum and dad's 25th wedding anniversary and um, engagement parties and Christmas parties and lots of things like that but she was always worried there was never going to be enough food and and she'd be on to the on the phone to me every five minutes leading up to the um, occasion you know months before so what food are you having what what are you going to do you know sort of like creating this sense of urgency in me but I was lucky enough to be able to keep calm and say, don't worry about it, mum, you know, it's okay. But, you know, th that worry and that stress is always around us. And uh, what I'm going to teach you today is how you have the power 
to um, react to that to help make your day go a bit um, smoother. There's no denying us as women, we're going to take it all on. We're going to try and um, manage everybody and manage everyone's emotions. The, um, the juggle and the struggle will always be there, especially if you're a mum and have children or even when you're older, you know, and your children have left home, you know, there's always something that's going to pop up. The washing machine's full of wet washing and it decides to go in the blink. It's Murphy's Law. You know, I married a Murphy. I know all too well about Murphy's. There's just always something that's going to go wrong. Don't, don't have um, too many high expectations. Just think, this is life and I'm going to cope and I'm going to manage it better. So what we've covered <clears throat> so far this year in our theme of um, organize your life we started off with the letter a and a is for all and where i spoke about how we want to have it all we want to have a beautiful home have it all organized decluttered um, have everything running smoothly um, you know what we're wishing for we might already have so um, that's what we spoke about with um, the letter a so not worrying about what um, what could be out there but Acknowledging that what you already do have, you probably do already have it all. B was for basic. This is one of um, the rules I live by. The more basic that you can live your life by, um, the less stressful it is. Uh, C was for clutter, <clears throat> and that's a no-brainer. The less clutter that you have in your home, um, the more easy it's going to just stay on top of things. You're going to be able to put away things um, as soon as you use them. You're going to have systems in place to... Put the shoes on, uh, shoes in a place at the door where people take them off or where you put your paperwork, um, all those sorts of things. D was for decisions. That's about making um, the right decision at the time, about um, deciding what's important, what's urgent. You know, when when we're in this situation where everything, you know, the S-H-I-T, pardon the language, hits the fan, you know, when you decide... Okay, I don't know if you noticed um, the other day I shared it in the group. What's urgent and important? You know, health and safety is always the number one for deciding what to do first. So if your child's ill or like my son did on a number of occasions when he was little, put things up his nose. That was always a trip to the um, ER. Um, my daughter used to have... Um, allergic reactions to a lot of things as a baby so it would be a rush to the hospital so urgent and important um, when you have children is always health and safety and health and safety of yourself um, the other other ones that I spoke about was um, less important but still urgent um, appointments um, I, you could bet your bottom dollar we were down to a one car family um, in the early stages of me having my children so I relied on um, public transport a lot and you could bet your bottom dollar that every time I ran out the door to catch the bus to go and do the grocery shopping or whatever it was um, my daughter would dirty a nappy so um, you know I always had to run in and change it quickly sometimes we'd miss the bus but it, it, it was what it was and we managed the third thing was about deciding what to action first was um, it's an important um, an important thing but it's less urgent. So, you know, it's important still to get dinner on the table. Um, sometimes it could be one of those quick and easy meals. Sometimes it could be eggs on toast or baked beans on toast. It's still important to feed your family, but, you know, you don't have to worry about it as much. And then there's less important and less urgent things, things that still need to be done, like the laundry and, um, you know, just making sure that you're getting enough sleep and, and all the rest of it. And I want to talk about that um, a little bit more um, as we go on the next letter we spoke about how um, we can help organize our lives better and help you with the juggle is education so I spoke about how if you educate yourself on uh, spend more time educating yourself on how to create these better systems how to declutter um, start learning new hobbies that you have a personal interest in or things that you want to learn if you've always wanted to learn how to play the piano or play tennis or learn crochet, you know, self-care is the number one thing uh, which I'm going to talk about um, that helps us get through um, this juggle. Um, 
F was for food, so getting back to basics, keep your meals simple, um, keep the ingredients simple. Simple foods is still the best, you know, when you take advantage of um, fresh produce that's in season, you're getting it at its best. So always keep your food and your meal times um, simple. G is for gratitude. I hope that um, you're still enjoying the nightly feature of um, writing what you're grateful for for the day. And I hope that you've seen that it does um, create a more positive um, vibe in your life. And it's just near impossible to feel negative about your life when you are practicing gratitude. And the more you do it, the more that you're um, promoting these um, brain uh, brain neurons to um, connect in your brain to keep that momentum going, to keep a more positive um, vibe in your life. Um, H was for homemaking. So, you know, the thing that keeps me going is those simple routines that I do every day, that 15-minute routine, my Saturday morning cleans, my Saturday morning washing, um, you know, no strict schedules or days for doing things because when we put that much pressure on ourselves to have particular days to do things, then that's when the wheels fall off. You know, the, when these things pop up, we think, oh, you know, Tuesday was taco night. You know, what am I going to do now? I've got to take my son to the hospital. Wednesdays was vacuuming the floors day. You know, I've, I've, I'm sick, you know, and I've twisted my ankle, you know, everything collides just try and simplify your life as much as possible and create these simple routines clean as you go um, declutter as you go organize as you go and things will um, fall into place a lot better and then last fortnight we spoke about improvising so making do with what you've got don't think that you need that particular thing to um, it's going to make your life better you know when you think or when you hear of someone on Instagram or Facebook has bought this latest new thing or they've done their pantry up with $300 worth of new containers. You know, you think, oh, that's going to make my life fantastic. And if you're already struggling to try and um, keep on top of the clutter and um, organise your life, you've got to run down to the shops and get it. You've got to clear out your pantry. You've got to um, label everything. You've got to um, set it all up and then you've got to keep it that way. You know, do you really have time to do that when you've got a six-year-old and a four-year-old or whatever, you know, dynamics, family dynamics do you have? You know, keep the ingredients in a box in your pantry. Same as this Marie Kondo thing, you know, like if, if, it, if you've done it and it works for you, that's fine. But I've seen people online who've Marie Kondoed their um, wardrobes They've got mountains and mountains of clothes and shoes and accessories piled high in their bedroom. It's taken them 12 hours to just get to that point. They've still got to go to sleep that night. You know, just do a little bit at a time. Fit it in when you can. You know, don't think that because everyone else is doing this stuff, is it going to work for you right now? Improvise. You know, when you've taken a top off, um, when you're going to have a shower and you think, you know what? This is too big or this is too tight or this is this is good for a cleaning rag you know have a little basket in your linen closet or in your bedroom where you put things that you've outgrown or you don't wear anymore and just do it as you go make life as easy as possible for you because that way when when the crisis um the crises hit you know you don't have to worry about all that stuff that's why i, I improvise you know i think oh, i'd love to have a lovely um bathroom um set you know like with the soap pump and all these little decorator items and that why you know i'm the only one that sees it i just make do with what i've got i've cut up some cereal boxes to store things inside my bathroom vanity drawers you know things like that and you just get by and then when i'm out shopping and having a little bit of a browse and i see something that i think is going to be super nice it's um <coughs> nice for my home I'll pick it up then I don't feel like I have to rush to the shops to buy whatever just because someone else has it so um, what I want what I want you to think about when you're going through this moment when 
you get home from work and there's the kids are arguing you're trying to put dinner on you've got a sick child you know all these things um, when they're happening all at once imagine that you're riding um, you're you're in a boat in wild seas it's going to stop so just ride it out just deep breathe be calm always know that it's um, never going to last forever that it's uh, it's just happening and you're going to get through it another example of how I um, think a bit about it is if you've ever been in the ocean in the surf beach sorry I've just got a bit of a dry throat <clears> throat> we lived our lives at the beach um, when I was growing up and when a big wave would come in and you got dumped you'd get tumbled around by the wave and you get sand all in your mouth and your eyes and you know you just kind of had to let your body go loose let the wave tumble you around a bit and then you'd stumble up and then you'd be okay so imagine it like that or another scenario is um, we get some pretty bad tropical storms here where I live and you know you can see it coming over and um, you think oh you know is there going to be hail or really strong winds I lived through a really bad storm back in 1985 that pretty much destroyed my parents house so I know what it's like but know that it's not going to last forever it's only going to last 10 20 minutes if that and then you just deal with it when, once it's over so just always remember the number one rule to get through those those times when the juggle is really real it's not going to last <clears throat> one thing um, a social worker once um, told me uh, when I had the kids when I was trying to learn how to cope with all of these things going on at once was um, to journal about it now if you've got a gratitude journal um, you know find a space in there as well to write these things down you can write it down as soon as um, it's happened or keep another little notebook handy or just type it on your phone whichever way you do it and you just write down everything you say I was just about ready to go to the Tupperware party and my daughter just dirtied a nappy and smeared it all over the the cotton herself and I had to bath her and I had to, to wipe everything down and I still managed to get to the Tupperware party and <coughs> you know um, and I, I got through it so later on um, down the track you can look back at these moments in time and say, you know what, I did it. I got through it. You know, I, I use this saying all the time. It's one of my favorite ones. Feel the fear and do it anyway. You know, us women, we're so strong. We're capable. We have it in our DNA, like I said, that we can manage all of these things. Take a deep breath. Manage it as best you can. Know that it's going to not last forever. You can get through it. And the other thing that I learned in business too is that when it's happened, when it's all said and done, when you wrote about it, um, you have a little bit of a giggle about it the next day, um, say to yourself, well, you know what, how can, I, how can I improve the situation if it happens again? You know, um, things like children dirtying their nappies or children in general, you really don't have any control over that. I've got a teenage daughter now and I tell you what you think oh you know the they're, they're eight nine ten years of age they're just lovely lovely little girls and they hit 14 and it's like you can be all sitting happily at dinner and her brother might just go like this with his eyebrows and she'll just turn into something from the exorcist she'll just scream and go tell him to stop looking at me you know whatever it is that she does it just you know can send you in a spin and you just go just relax but I got off track then but I wanted to say that when when everything's all said and done review the situation you go you know what Tuesday afternoons is hell um, when I get home from work and Joey's got soccer practice Susie's got tennis classes or dance classes you know let's make Tuesday night that really easy dinner don't say it's taco night or be too restrictive just say you know it's going to be a takeaway hot chicken and bread rolls with salad from 
from the supermarket that I pick up on the way home or I'm going to buy uh, I'm going to make sure that I include in my groceries um, next time some quick crumb chicken and uh, uh, burritos uh, tortillas something like that say Tuesday night is easy dinner night you know don't be so restrictive with what you have have to get but um, what you have to make that night but review the situation and just go well you know what while my daughter was at home uh, my teenage daughter was at home while I was picking up Joey from soccer practice she could have prepped dinner so let's make it Tuesday nights is when she cooks dinner or just review your situation and how you can improve that um, for next time just to ease because there will be a next time and you know you will ma manage it but um, this is the most important part of all of this and what and something that I've always spoken about in the group is it is so important to have me time regular scheduled me time I know that's hard with babies and toddlers but you know if they're sleeping you sit down and relax you do something for yourself because every time you do this you know in line with everything else that I've spoken about today all of these A to um, Z things of you know improvising and deciding and um, being clutter free and being basic um, all of that just works in well together when when you take the time out for yourself and just do nothing don't think about anything whether it's five minutes ten minutes or a whole day watch tv go for a pedicure self-care and me time is so important in this in the whole scheme of things because when it happens next time you are going to be so much better at coping with it because you've learnt to relax you've le learnt to regulate um, how you feel about things you also know that during those moments of um, crisis when all of this is happening it could happen on a Tuesday and you go what you know what Wednesday's my me day I'm going to be enjoying this so much better or you know Thursday night's the night I go to yoga class you know I'm looking so forward to that the world can throw at me whatever I want because I know that I take care of myself and I'm going to have this time for myself and it's going to help me cope better the next time so that's the big thing that I want to um, I want you to take away from today that the juggle is real it's not going to go away it's in our DNA to try and, and comfort everybody and manage everybody um, work out the best way to cope with the crisis all you can do is simplify your life as much as you can for those moments be as prepared as you can get through it know that it's not going to last forever take it you know practice deep breathing and make sure that you put in to your regular schedule uh, into your re schedule regular me time and practice self-care you know daily meditating daily um I do I do daily meditating and it just helps so much you know with the teenagers and dealing with my ex-husband nothing worries me anymore you know why worry about things don't look too far ahead down the future you know my husband and I are huge dog lovers and we always say that we try to model our lives on on our dog they live in the moment cats birds whatever pets you've got they're not looking down down the future to say I know how am I ever going to get through my life with these kids you know what did I do in my life to deserve this deal with it in the moment take the next next couple of minutes as it comes and pat yourself on the back and congratulate yourself for doing a good job no one else is going to do that this is the thing you've got the power to manage how you feel about these situations and you can get through it you guys can do what Ever you put your mind to and that's what I'm so proud to have you here in this group um, to get you organized to you know to get you back to doing more of what you like to do and get th get through these the circus of life I guess you know with the juggling act and and know that you can do it and know that you'll um, get through it so um, that's what I wanted to share with you today I'm going to be sharing more things about 
um, little time saving advice, um, bits of advice and um, prioritizing, you know, when these, I guess I had some pretty busy jobs in my life that I was able to sort of learn to prioritize what was more important and more urgent at the time, which has helped me being a busy mum. But um, it's same now, you know, I, I work in my own business here at home and, um, you know, the school will ring and say, oh, um, your daughter's in sick bay, you know, you need to come and pick her up while I'm in the middle of something urgent, you know, but you just go and pick her up and you just do the best you can. So um, I want to thank you very much for joining me today. Know that you've got this, you can get through it and practice that self um, care and me time as much as you can. Schedule it, schedule it in. It's it's the most important and most urgent thing that you need to do. Schedule it, do it, and um, you've got this, ladies. So thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if you have any questions or um, want to post anything um, in the group about it or how ask me anything about, you know, what would I do in this situation, just let me know and I'll, um, I'll help you um, get through it. So... Thanks very much and I hope you have a lovely day. Catch you later. Bye.